little Sagittarians. It's Kimmy Chanches here from Sydney, Australia, here to do your musician's reading. And it's going to be the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, so November 2022. So this full moon here, Sagittarius, occurs when the school, sun in, is in Scorpio and it forms this opposition to the moon in Taurus. Now the moon, full moon, is a time of culmination and it's the promise of fulfilment to whatever you've started at the new moon, so whatever seed you planted. So you could be experiencing uh, the uh, Taurus feelings of security and loyalty. It's all about relationships and um, going forward during this lunar phase. So you could be considering that this is a full moon that you should reflect on, um, especially for the last 6 to 12 months. And whatever has um, transpired in your life during that time. So you may be surprised to see where this journey has led you to and where it may end. So sometimes you might have, um, you know, stressful, chaotic situation. And with the um, eclipse energies, in, you've just got to keep in mind... Whatever this is, is meant to be. Whatever is meant to fall away, is meant to fall away. Now, with the full moon in Taurus, it's about personal growth. And, you know, building your self-esteem. So, you know, your health and well-being is the energetic spotlight around this uh, eclipse energies. And with the Taurus moon being the centre in the area of your life, you've got this transformative Scorpio. It's a Scorpio sun in opposition. So there is a need to make changes to whatever you do on a daily routine, you know, to your work schedules, your music schedules, in order to preserve your health because it can become a prominent matter for you. So you may be burning the candle at both ends here. Sagittarius. Now you can also start new projects and take the initiative, but it's going to require more of your time and attention around this time. So the balance is um, is key here. So you will possibly receive support when you need to honour yourself, but you've got to listen to what your body is to, um, telling you here, Sagittarius. So watch your health around this time. Now we've got the Lenormand cards. We've got the key, which is the sun north node. It's about your identity, your ego, and your birth sign. We've got the sight. It's, it's a planet Chiron, which is about the wounded healer. And we've got the fish, which is Gemini energy. So going with the flow, it's about money. And what I'm feeling here for you is, you do have what it takes to reach your music goals. And I do feel there's success coming. But you must also be alert um, in concerns where there's much needed money. You know, you may be chasing money and um, it's stressing you out because things aren't happening the way you want them to. So maybe you just got to take that step back and know that it'll all fall into place. This is relating to a music business decision that's going to impact your finances. So we'll move on to the lunar eclipse um, in Taurus also. So you may have a change of heart and um, it's about re-evaluating re your situation. I'm having trouble getting that word out. Sorry, guys. Now... You may uh, receive important contracts here or meetings and um, maybe it's conversations surrounding your music work or you're going to hire some more people in your band to help, you know, to, so you can be top of, um, top of your game. But it's vital to practice mindfulness around this time. You know, your schedules, you've got to look at that and honour yourself to, self-care especially but new ways of approaching your well-being 
will feel important during this eclipse cycle. Now you could delve into things like meditation or a spiritual practice due to the moon and sun forming and it's an expansive connection to metaphysical Jupiter which is in Aquarius. Okay so with all the Norman cards we have the letter so it's uh, the third house of communication we have the tree which is growth it is Virgo energy it's about being patient and we have the clouds which is uh, Neptune the planet of illusion so you know uh, this could be telling you that you're going to receive a spiritual message about your health and this could be unclear to you you know, there's definitely some uncertainty about your, the way you're feeling health-wise. And you need to get this in order so you can pursue your music. You know, you could be a writer here, a songwriter. Now, we've got the um, final outcome for you around this time from the Animal Tarot. It's the King of Summer. Now, the spiritual meaning of this is the Summer Solstice, which is about finding balance in your life. And gathering the courage to be the boldest version of yourself. But remember, you can't do that without good health here, Sagittarius. Now, the solstice uh, in Latin means the sun that stands still. So it refers to the fact that the sun is out for the longest time of the year. Now, the penguin, they have many spiritual meanings and symbolisms, the totems, but... For an example, they are considered symbols of strength and courage in many cultures, but they are also thought to be the symbols of transformation, like I said before, as they can swim in both water and air. Now, because of their ability to transition between two worlds, the penguins can teach us about the balance and flexibility that you need to um, get in your life. So as I said, the balance is the key here, the Lenormand cards. Now, um, the penguin spirit indicates determination and patience, like I said, with the Virgo energy, with the tree, and endurance. It also calls for your self-discipline and determination. It's going to play a crucial role for you in achieving your goals here, Sagittarius. Now, the penguin spirit animal also teaches you how to have grace when it comes to your actions. And definitely your emotions. So that's all I have for you guys. I uh, hope it resonated with you. Um, please leave a message below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you will. And I'll see you next time. Love to you all. Bye for now.